Hello, and welcome to your new staff orientation. Today, we will be going over the various topics that indicate expectations, guidelines, rules, and inputs on how to be an employee here at Valley Community High School. In this presentation, we'll go over employee requirements, dress code, chain of command, behavioral management, and AAVE and Black culture announcements. We'll also discuss subbing, our AFK policy, and our morning lineup spots that we use before school starts. Before we begin, I want to welcome you all to the staff team. VCHS is dedicated to making sure that staff morale and interaction is our highest priority, so I'm sure you're going to have a great time under your employment here. Let's get started. Here at VCHS, we have a set rule in place for all staff members to abide by. It is encouraged to wear semi-formal business and slash or casual attire when coming to work. Down below, you will find what is acceptable and not acceptable. Under the acceptable attire category, you'll see polos, the VCHS staff badge, jeans that are not ripped, suit and tie, or slacks. Under the unacceptable category, you'll find animal ears, ripped jeans, any attire that promotes violence, inappropriate attire, sweatpants, and packages such as core blocks, headless, and other things. An additional responsibility of VCHS staff is meeting weekly requirements. Staff are expected to achieve 250 messages in the community channel on our Discord server, attend at least five sessions unless you're part-time staff who must only attend three sessions, and attend all necessary trainings and meetings. If you cannot make it to a session on a specific day, you can fill out a compressed work week form. If you need to be excused from the session, please fill out an absence request form, which will also be located in faculty information or can be found on our re-admin panel. One of our main policies is our chain of command system. When needing to ask a higher up a question, you are encouraged to ask your supervisor first unless this question involves a specific department or rank. You should never have to contact the chairwoman. However, if she is needed, please contact her assistants first. We are very understanding of problematic behavior that may occur at times during operational hours. This is why we have a warning system. Our warning system is a method we use to enforce our rules and guidelines. A student can get up to three warnings before getting sent to ALE during the day. You can read further about our warning system on this slide. VCHS maintains a strict AAVE policy. AAVE stands for African American Vernacular English. Staff members who are not permitted to use language will be warned as needed. And if it continues, please note that it is disrespectful for a non-Black person to use it. With this, our public relations department releases Black culture notifications where different topics are discussed. Upon release, staff members are expected to read and discuss the topics with one another in the community channel. On this slide, you'll find some examples of AAVE. Once again, you are not allowed to use this type of language if you are not a Black person. AAVE is strictly Black dialect and is used by African American people to express themselves in different ways. Some examples of this consist of ghetto, for real, sis, period, bestie, finna, and others. Throughout the entire session, there may be times where you'll have to cover class or office space. All ranks LR through SHR are required to sub throughout the day. If you see a class or office area that isn't being subbed, you're required to cover it until you are no longer able to do so. If you're an education staff member, so that would be core teachers, elective teachers, and special education teachers, you are able to sub a class slash office only when you do not have a class. Please understand that sometimes staff attendance is low and all ranks may have to cover other areas temporarily. At VCHS, you are allowed to go AFK. AFK stands for away from keyboard. You are only permitted to go AFK twice throughout the entire session unless it's an emergency. There's an AFK room located in our school building by the bookshelf next to the stairs in a medium sized room. Some reasons you can go AFK are needing to help your parents, using the restroom, eating, which should not take the whole session. Some reasons you may not go AFK are walking your dog, going to shower, cutting your grass, and so on. There are things that you can do before and after the session. Please make sure you do those at that time. It is important for us to have full staff attendance as much of the time as we can. Throughout the session, we have lineup spots that staff are expected to be at. Please follow instructions after morning announcements. You are expected to stand at the head of hallways, on the step, or in front of your classroom doors. 
Please note that passing period spots are mainly for teachers to observe students from their classroom door. If you need assistance, please contact your supervisors. Remember, your supervisor should be the first person you contact if you need any assistance or an answer to any questions. This concludes the staff orientation. Congratulations on your hire and welcome to the team. Shortly, you will be given access to a mandatory quiz to test your knowledge on this video. If you have any other questions, comments, or concerns, please inform a member of the Education Operations Branch. Thank you.